what is the difference between a between subject design and a within subject design? And why is it important to know the difference? This is what we discuss in this video. Let's start with an example. Let's assume you want to find out if vacations have an effect on people's stress levels. In order to analyze this question, you've prepared a small questionnaire to measure people's stress levels. With the questionnaire you now ask people before and after their vacation about their stress level. So you have two variables, stress level and vacation. Vacation has the two levels before and after vacation. Now there are two possible research designs. Number one, you interview people before they go on vacation and then interview other people after their vacation. In this case you would have a between subjects design because the people you interviewed before the vacation have nothing to do with the people you interviewed after the vacation. The second, and in this case better design would be, you interview people before they go on vacation and then interview the same people after their vacation. In this case you would have a within subject design. The measured values are always available in pairs and the same subject is exposed to both levels of the factor. Therefore, in a between subject design, each subject or participant is only assigned to one factor level, so that the different subjects only have the influence of the respective group. In contrast, in a within subject design, the same subjects or participants are exposed to all factor levels, which enables a direct comparison of their reactions to each factor level. You therefore have a within subject design if you interview one and the same person at two time points, once before and once after a certain event. The pairs for example arise from repeated measurements on the same individuals. Of course there does not necessarily have to be a before-after relationship that is being studied. A within subject design also exists if, for example, you want to test whether a new type of baseball bat has an effect on the results of a baseball game and you let the same people play once with the old bat and once with the new one. Then the measured values are also available in pairs. Each player has used both bats and therefore there are two measured values from each player. And it doesn't even have to be the same person. For example, if you wanted to find out whether in a couple between men and women, women do more gardening than men do, you would also have a within subject design. And of course it doesn't have to be about people. You could also investigate whether a lubricant has an influence on the downtime of machines. Then you would have measured values from the machines with the old and then with a new lubricant. The data is then also available in pairs. Between subject design. In case of a between subject design, each subject is only assigned to one of the two groups. For example, if the group of men and a group of women are asked about their income, independent samples are available. Of course, in a between subject design and a within subject design, there can also be more than two groups. In other words, the factor to be analyzed can have more than two levels. Let's look at this using an ANOVA as an example. Let's say we want to test whether different diets have an effect on cholesterol levels. We would like to compare the three diets A, B and C. So the factor diet has the three levels A, B and C. To test whether there is a difference between the diets, we are conducting a study with 18 participants. The individual participants are called subjects. Now we randomly assign six participants to each of the three groups. Each participant or subject is assigned to only one group. In this case we have a between subjects factor. Different subjects are exposed to different levels of a factor. In this analysis our objective is to determine whether significant differences exist in the mean cholesterol levels among the various groups under study. And this is exactly what a one-way ANOVA does. Now of course we could also examine the impact of one diet across multiple time points. We could measure the cholesterol levels at each participant at the start of the diet, after two weeks and after four weeks. 
So the factor time has the three levels start, two weeks and four weeks. And in this case, the same subjects being exposed to all levels of the factor. So we have a within subject factor. The same subjects are exposed to all levels or conditions. In this case, we want to know if there is a difference in the mean value of the cholesterol levels between the different points in time. And this is exactly what a repeated measures ANOVA does. Therefore, in a repeated measures ANOVA, we have within subject factors. Therefore, in a between subject design, each subject or participant is only assigned to one factor level so that the different subjects only have the influence of the respective group. In contrast, in a within subjects design, the same subjects or participants are exposed to all factor levels, which enables a direct comparison of their reactions to each factor level. But what if you want to test if there is a difference between diet A, B and C over the different points in time? So we want to test if there is a difference between the diets and if there is difference between the different time points. Then we need a mixed model ANOVA because we have both, one between subject factor and one within subject factor. So in a mixed model ANOVA we have at least one between subjects factor and at least one within subjects factor in the same analysis. Therefore the mixed model ANOVA tests whether there is a difference between more than two samples which are divided at least between two factors. One of the factors is a result of measurement repetition. As we have just seen, you need different hypothesis tests depending on whether you use a between subject design or a within subject design. If you use a between subject design, for example, an independent samples t-test or a one-way ANOVA is used. If you use a within subject design, for example, a paired samples t-test or a repeated measures ANOVA is used. But don't worry, DataTab will help you find the right hypothesis test. I'll show you how to do that now. Just visit datadep.net and copy your data into this table. Let's say this is the data we want to analyze. Here we have a factor with therapy A, B and C. And we have measured cholesterol levels at three different times. If we click on before and end, a paired samples t-test is calculated because we want to know if there is a difference between the two points before and end. If we click on all three time points, a repeated measures ANOVA is automatically calculated. And if we click on therapy and end, we have a between subjects design and a one-way ANOVA is calculated. We want to know if there is a difference between the three therapies in terms of cholesterol levels. Of course, we can also select all variables and then a mixed model ANOVA will be calculated. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.